Hey guys, Ergen Templar. So this is not really a response to the person, because I don't really feel like responding to them. It's not because I don't think I can beat them in an argument, it's because over the years I've realized when you're dealing with people such as new atheists, um, arguing with them is a waste of time. Uh, their beliefs are a priori. That is, they have decided their beliefs and nothing external can really affect it. Um, it is a belief that they have... Um, they believe stronger that God does not exist than I believe that God does exist. Uh, it is something they hold with absolute certainty and no amount of argument can sway them from it. Um, there's that and that's why I, I just don't bother anymore. And this isn't because I haven't tried. I've tried this for years. Um, I used to be a new atheist so I know the mindset. I used to hang out with a lot of them. I, I know the mindset. Um, if I thought there was anything to be gained by having a conversation with them, I would. There's that, and I just, frankly, it bores me because they just post the same shit over and over again. And I will make videos addressing it. I will make videos, like, answering it, and they will just post copy pasta. They will just take shit from the God Delusion, from something Christopher Hitchens said, and they'll just post the same thing over and over and over again. They'll have the same boring insults, etc. It's just a waste of my time because, I mean... They'll put up these, like, really basic questions that have been answered since, like, the time of Aristotle. And there's there's thousands of people who have answered it. There's a forum called Catholic Answers where they could search them. Uh, they're not willing to go, like, look at Google, um, even to investigate this stuff. Um, so I don't see why I am obligated to explain it to them. And I used to bother, but they just ignored me, and they would just insult me. And as I've said numerous times, if people are just going to insult me or be condescending or use fucking copy pasta, I have better things to do with my time than respond to it. And it's it's not it doesn't trigger me because they disagree with me or because they're insulting my religion. That doesn't really bother me because I believe God will ultimately judge us all. It's it's the intellectual laziness. And this guy um, denied that it was copy pasta. And I looked at his uh, Google Plus page. I'm not going to say who he was. Uh, but I looked at his, his Google Plus page, and he literally posts this. He has, like, an algorithm, and he posts this on any, every video. And um, he posts on every video that's vaguely related to religion. Uh, you can't see it because when I blocked him, because he just kept spamming my comments threads, um, it, it deleted everything that was in my spam folder. Uh, but he went to, like, my Lion of the Tribe of Judah Let's Plays, and he just spammed those with this exact same comment like he literally copied and pasted it and he has an algorithm that search for certain keywords um so what does what does like atheism have to do with a let's play of a video game of ethiopia nothing but that just kind of shows the level he has so let's just go through this everyone is born a non-believer born without the belief of a god well everyone's born without a belief in gravity everyone's born not being able to read people are born without a belief in reading People are born without a belief in light. People are born without a belief in language. It's such a fucking inane comment to make. And this is just the laziness of the argument. Like, that doesn't trigger me because they, they're atheists. It triggers me because it's such an intellectually dishonest argument. It's, it's kind of pathetic. It's like, okay, so what? So you're against school then because people aren't born, like, with, a, with an education? Belief of a creator comes later after your family and community have had a chance to indoctrinate you. So by this logic, writing is indoctrination. Uh, science is indoctrination. And people say, well, science is objective. Okay, but you're, you're brainwashed to thinking it's objective. Um, if every, and this is the problem with social construct theory. Uh, if everything is a social construct, where did social constructs come from? Um, because if, if the idea is that the community um indoctrinates you into itself then there, there has to be an origin of this um if, if if things if this idea can only be transmitted by a community that accepts it then who transmitted it to the community because if the community had originally been atheist they would have indoctrinated everyone as an atheist so i i don't actually get it um whatever trans uh religious tradition you have the misfortune of being brought up in uh, now, this is a, an example that the guy didn't bother to look at anything. Uh, I wasn't brought up in, in the religious tradition I'm in now. 
uh, I wasn't even brought up in like a vaguely similar one. Um, I, my childhood, if anything, made me hostile to religion. So I don't know what he's talking about. Did you know I can more times than not accurately predict your religion based on your geographical location that you were brought up in? And this is just like condescending. It's, it's like, it's just so fucking stupid. Well, I can predict whether or not you have running water. So that makes running water bad. It's just, it's just like a factual statement. Like it, it's just implying things. I can predict what language you speak. I can predict whether or not you're literate. Like, like so fucking what? It's irrelevant. Like it's, it's this, it's just such bullshit. And I'm getting angry here, not because he disagrees with me, because it's such a fucking inane statement. I put in my videos, I'm a political science major. I studied demography. I know how demography works. I talk about it frequently. I know that there are fucking statistics on these things. Religion, nothing more than a doctrinated cult, a myth that has zero zilch, not a zero, not one shred of tangible evidence to support it. I did like 30 fucking videos going over this. I quoted atheist scholars. I quoted religious scholars. I quoted pagan scholars. I did a huge fucking video series on this. And he can't be bothered to watch it. He doesn't care about arguing. And this is the thing. Like, this is just bullshit. I mean, he, he has he ever... Do you think this man has ever heard someone who's not, like, mentally retarded who he disagrees with? And he posts and so I came up with all this stuff myself. Uh, this isn't based on anything else. When this shit is just like, this is copied and pasted from the God Delusion. This is copied and pasted from the God Delusion. Modern man is 2,000 years old, yet deity-based religion appeared only about 2,000 years ago. A, that's a lie. Um, that is a, a lie, so this man is ignorant. Uh, Judaism is much older than that. Zoroastrianism is much older than that. Um, Indian and Chinese religion is much older than that. So the man is showing he doesn't know any, like he's supposed to be an atheist, he doesn't know like the most basic things about comparative religion. Why? Because it wasn't until man garnered the communication skills and intellect. But I thought this was a bad thing because, so he's saying things that are imparted, because that's clearly what he states in his intro. Everyone is born a non-believer and then you are indoctrinated. Okay. So he's saying that this was a good thing, though, that man gathered communication skills, but those were indoctrinated. The intellected, uh, an intellect to ask the proverbial questions of all time, why are we here? Without the science and knowledge of the cosmos we have today, through attrition, they only understood one answer. What does through attrition mean? Um, they deemed that there must be a creator in poof God was born. Um, because that's how metaphysics works. Um, if you believe God exists, then that makes him exist. Um, um, okay. Um, but if we look at, um, at, the, at what he's talking about, um, one of the, the founders of kind of mono, monotheism within the philosophical tradition is, is Plato and Aristotle. And Aristotle is credited as being the first scientist. So we're saying uh, the first scientist, and generally speaking, scientists were more religious than average before the 19th century. Um, we're saying that these people were, were bad. Um, he's also saying that religion is a product of civilization and intelligence and culture, which I guess is a bad thing um, because this the same civilization, intellect, and culture also produced um, medicine. It produced electricity it produced machines it produced thermodynamics it produced physics so those things are good but religion's bad they're deemed there must be a creator and proof god was born uh the belief system went uncontested for thousands of years like okay thousands of years of parents indoctrinating children into this belief of a god this is why the belief system is so entrenched in our society uh a it wasn't i, I don't know what he's talking about uh, and, and this is kind of my issue like if you're going to make these arguments, at least have your shit together. There were atheists in the ancient Greek world. There were all kinds of atheists. It was a fairly common, it was not an uncommon position. There was atheists all throughout the Middle Ages. What was the Reformation? What was the Enlightenment? What was, like, Stoicism? Um, there's there's all kinds of atheistic philosophies. Um, there was Samyak in India, which is a form of atheism. Um, it's, it's not an uncommon thing i mean it wasn't it was less common 
but this man doesn't know anything about it into into this belief of a god well no they they didn't like they had a number of gods back in the day um so it's not a god well i guess it is a god but he seems to be using this in a monotheistic context when a lot of these religions didn't have it like is is what about hinduism what about the the, the chinese what about like zen buddhism um he just makes these sweeping declarations that shows he doesn't understand anything about comparative religion or history now specifically within the last hundred years it's not the last hundred years we have a wealth of knowledge of the cosmos and the earth and their beginnings uh we now know that the earth is 4.5 billion years old uh, do we know why, uh, where that came from? That came from a Jesuit priest who discovered it. Uh, we now know that life is some 3 billion years old and all life on the planet past and present evolved over time, which is what St. Augustine said in the 3rd century, but who cares. We also know how the universe began and that there are a minimum of 100 billion galaxies in the universe. Actually, we don't know how the universe began. Um, we know that there was the Big Bang, but we don't know what caused the Big Bang. Uh, it, it's, it's like, so what? Uh, we know how the Big Bang began. Um, traditionally, what scientists maintained, atheistic science maintained that the universe was eternal um, because that eliminated the need of the creator, which is kind of an unsolvable quandary. Um, but he, this man doesn't really seem to know anything about that. Creation is on the fast track of being out, but I'm not a creationist. So, And this is kind of what I mean by copy pasta. Uh, I've never said I'm a creationist. I think the Earth is... I don't get what like what his point is. I Life is 3 billion years old. The Earth is 4.6 billion, 5 billion years old. There are hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. So what? I it's, it's irrelevant to me. I've never stated on this channel, and you can go back and look at everything, that the universe isn't that old. I've never stated that evolution doesn't exist. I think I may have stated that I thought... Um, God was involved with the origin of life and that he may have um, set up evolution in such a way to pre prepare us. But the, the, the official teaching of my religion, Catholicism, is that faith and reason cannot be in conflict. Um, if they appear to be in conflict, it, it means that our understanding of one of them is flawed. But he can't be bothered to look this up. Um, and, and that's kind of my issue. This is just all intellectual laziness. Uh, every educated person thought the Earth was the center of the universe and everything revolved around it. Equally, hundreds of years from now, humanity will look back and laugh that some people believed an invisible magician who lives in the sky made everything from nothing with a nod of his head. A, God doesn't have a head. Um, I guess Jesus did, but that, when he created the universe, he didn't have a head. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a magician who lives in the sky. Okay, well, he, God doesn't live in the sky. I don't know what this man's talking about. God lives in heaven is, is something kind of completely different um heaven is is not exactly another dimension um our understanding is that heaven is a a vision um that the soul has by being in the presence of god while it waits for the end of uh for the end of days um so god doesn't live in the sky he doesn't have a head etc um and people have been saying this since like the third century um so whatever um so like what he's saying here is if one thing is ever disproven um then that means everything's disproven it's it's like it's irrelevant it's, it's like saying um people didn't know that bacteria could become resistant to antibiotics so therefore in 300 years ice cream will be shown to be the most healthy food possible because we were wrong about one health improvement, we will inevitably be wrong about something else to do with health. Um, so I don't get it. I simply choose the overwhelming scientific and abundant scientific evidence that weighs the zero evidence. Uh, even if you don't like my evidence, I um, I did a a twelve part video series presenting my evidence. Uh, this man doesn't want to watch it. This man has no desire to watch it. Um, this man, there, there are books, there have been books written since Aristotle on this topic. He's apparently never read a single one of them. Um, I, is there evidence for atheism? Yeah, of course there's evidence for it. Um, I, I've never said that there wasn't. Um, these people are, are fucking dishonest, and that's my issue with it. Um, but this man, like, is completely uninterested in, um, in stuff. And I can make that assumption because he, he, he doesn't seem to know, like, basic facts. 
Uh, we no longer need God to justify our existence. Science explains it all. No, it doesn't. It doesn't explain the origin of the universe. Uh, I've never seen a real scientific explanation for the origin of the universe. And people say, well, that's because you haven't read it. Well, I have read them. Um, it either they play a sleight of hand and they say nothing actually means dust and quantum foam. Or they'll say there's a multiverse which doesn't answer the question. Or they'll say it's a mystery. Or they'll say it's an oscillating universe, which is actually impossible, given what we know about thermodynamics. It is obvious gods did not create man, rather gods were created by man. Why is it obvious? It just It's just an implying implication. It's just something he throws out there, etc. So yes, I was rude to this man. I said he was a troll. Um, and I, I pretended that I didn't take him seriously, because I don't take him seriously. Because I'm just tired of dealing, like, this is all just copy and pasting from, like, memes. This whole thing is just memes. There's no argument here. It's, this is just all shit he copied and pasted from the God Delusion. It doesn't even seem like he, he reworded it. I mean, it's obvious he did zero, he did zero research. He's never apparently read the, the argument. I, if, if I was going to come up with counter-arguments to what would I believe, uh, which this man obviously has never looked at, he's never probably looked at a serious Christian philosopher, um, I, I could do a much better job than he could. This man obviously just doesn't give a shit. Which is fine, but he shouldn't be on here copying and pasting this shit on my channel. Because I've said, I have no tolerance for copy-paste on my channel. I have better shit to do with my time than to deal with these people and their whining. So that's it. I'm sorry if this is, I'm insulting this guy and taking the piss out of him, but it pisses me off. Just the, the, the laziness, the inability to do basic research, etc. Um, also the fact that he's accusing me of shit like being a creationist with no basis. So that's why I accused him of just being a troll and being a fake person because he accuses me of being a creationist, um, which I'm not. So whatever. Zargon Templar signing out.